Hey everyone, it's your girl Jossie, aka J Renee, back at it again with another video. Y'all like my hair? It's cute, ain't it? It's cute. Period. Shout out to Lena Locks. She does this. Like, period. Okay, anyway, today, as you can see in the thumbnail, we are going to be making an upcycled men's shirt like shirt blouse whatever from a men's button down shirt i've seen them everywhere they're really cute i personally love the one that i made so yeah i hope you love it too so before we get into the video make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you don't miss a video every wednesday and saturday you know i got you i got you so without further ado let's get into the video so this shirt I got from the thrift store, you can check out my thrift with me video, but it's a men's large, it's pretty big. As you can see, it has a little unfolding in the back, but yeah, that's how it looks on me. So what we're first gonna do is take your washable marker and we're gonna mark the top of where we want our corset to be. So the part in between your boobs, it's kind of like halfway in between. From that line, we're gonna take it and draw a curve right under where your boobs sit. So just right under that curve, wherever they sit on you, make that curve do that. But first, I have to take out this pocket. So let me take out the pocket and then finish my curve. So buttoning it up, up so we can be even on both sides, I'm going to retrace those lines. But I also had a pattern already that I made. I draped a pattern on my dress form. As you can see here, I used an old polo and just draped the whole thing. And so I made it into another corset, but that's for another video. So I'm just going to cut out, trace out that curve. And then at the end of that curve, we're just going to make a straight line all the way to the sides. So hopefully this works because I didn't know if it was going to work or not. But I'm going to cut that off at the top and then curve it all the way down and make to the straight line to the side. And so with that straight line, I traced another line on the back and cut out that same thing so it's just straight around the front and the back so that the front and back can be similar and so just take that top out of the way we don't need that right now so first let's button this back up and lay it out flat i'm using my pattern but i'm gonna cut out the sides of the shirt because i don't need them anymore and then i'm gonna pin down my pattern so really all you really would have to do is take your measuring tape and measure from the top part of your chest or not the top but like mid boob or whatever um where that measurement is i went up a little too high there but then that's the first measurement and then the second one you're going to take around the smallest part of your waist and then keep those measurements in mind and if you don't have a pattern um like i did just take those measurements and use that for the part around your waist so these three pieces that i'm gonna be cutting out are gonna be the same size around my waist as if i were to just measure that much so this is the back piece i'm just gonna cut that out i left some space away from the buttons so that i could sew them onto the bottom part later and then these are the side pieces they have a little point um thing at the center because i kind of wanted it to be higher at the hips on the sides and then to get lower on the front and back sides so i'm just cutting all of these out and I need two of these, so I'm gonna make two of them for the sides. And so once I have these three panels, I am going to just pin them together. Right sides facing, we're gonna pin the sides to the front and the back side together. I will make a video 
on how I made the first course in the first place with what I just draped. So stay tuned for that. But for now, we're just going to use with what we got. So pinning the sides to the back as well as the front. I know it looks small, but it should fit. I think I did have to add some, but that's okay. And so now that we have that all pinned, we're gonna sew it down. So I'm just using a straight stitch all the way down all four of them that we've pinned. And take your time with this. My seam allowance was about a quarter inch. I don't like a lot of seam allowance unless I'm doing a zipper, but we're not doing a zipper. So not much seam allowance is needed here. And so that's how they all look. And so I'm just going to use my iron and open up the seams. I would usually um, do a top stitch, but I think I just wanted to iron these down because the fabric looked like it needed to be ironed instead of top stitched. But I think top stitching would have helped the structure more. So maybe you want to do that. So moving on to the top of the shirt, we are going to pin down at the edge of that curve all the way to below the shoulder seam so we're gonna do a basting stitch here all the way around that curve and do not back stitch so that stitch starts from that first cut and then all the way around the curve up until the bottom of the side arm seam and then that's how it should look we're gonna take the top stitch of that and gather it together y'all know how to gather y'all have seen my gathered bust dress if you haven't seen that go watch that y'all and i'll show y'all how to gather better but we're just gonna take the top string of that stitch and gather it all together just to we're kind of like making cups for our boobs in a way so really just gently tug on that string while you're pulling the fabric and it should gather easily so yeah and now we have to pin these on so we're gonna flip them over upside down that first part that band with the buttons on it goes on first so we're gonna pin that to the shirt and then since there's a curve you have to kind of it's gonna like come over a little bit so you have to bring it over to match up with that curved edge so doing your best to keep this gathered stitch in place, we're going to just pin right over top of everything we have and just keep pinning until you get to the side seam. So everything should be gathered and pretty when we finished. So bring the other side over, make sure it's upside down so we can have right side to right side. And bring it under the shirt because that's how it has to be and then pinning that edge down first and then again matching up that curved edge with the gathers i had to adjust the gathers because you know they was coming apart um you can sew them down before you do this part actually if that helps but i didn't feel like i needed to so just keep pinning until you hit the edge of that seam and so for the back yes this top will need to be gathered so we're just going to like do little overlaps we're going to fold the fabric until there is no more um difference between them the two so we're just going to fold them in half not in half but kind of fold them over each other just watching you can see i don't really know how to explain this again I'm not the best at voiceovers, but that's okay because hopefully you can watch and understand. And if you have any questions, let me know. And that's how it should look in the end. And of course, in the back, we will have folds, but folds that look pretty. So now we have to sew all of that all the way around, starting with that first edge when we get to the edge and the curve we want to pivot lift up the presser foot and pivot it around with the needle still in the fabric and then keep sewing all the way around 
and it should end up like that and so we have to take this basting stitch out because it just looks tacky to keep that in there after we've sewn it all down we just gotta take that basting stitch out because we don't need it honey and it should be looking good so right now this is how it looks but the sleeves are kind of if and big and ugly and i pinned that sleeve because i wanted you to see how better it would look by taking in the sleeve at the sides so yeah that looks better that one doesn't all right so let's go do that so really i'm just gonna whatever i pinned i'm gonna take it from the inside and put a pin in it so I'm going to just keep doing that, not all the way down the sleeve, but partially down the sleeve. So I'm going to stick my hand inside the sleeve and pinch how much I want to take in. It looks kind of weird now, but it hopefully it'll make sense. You can see my hand just pinching through. And I'm not going to go all the way down the sleeve because I did want a little bigger bell sleeve at the bottom. So yes just keep doing that until you're satisfied with the results and so now i'm taking it to the sewing machine and sewing like a big curve around that underarm seam that we are taking in and i did need to go over it another time because i needed more taken in so do with that you what you will and you can cut off that excess but i didn't cut it off for whatever reason and so now we have to make this bottom part so this is all we had left and i wanted it to be longer like a dress but it i just didn't have enough so i need to cut out half of this bottom back piece that i didn't use already cutting it in half and cutting off those extra size that we don't need in the tag or whatever yeah we could sew that later but i don't think i sewed it back on so now that they're cut in half we have to put them right side to right side on the edge and sew them together with a straight stitch and a top stitch now that we have that all sewn down we have to make the front closure so since we want this whole button down to open with buttons um, we have to measure how much we need from these buttons and I think it's all three of them. I wanted to cut off this extra piece and then try to make it even on both sides and then lay that down and see how much I needed to cut off. You don't have to be this dramatic but you could really just measure it. And so we have to pin these down right side to right side at the edge and then go sew it down. So I pinned them both before I sewed them down because, you know, it just made sense. And I think I did a top stitch with these two. Everything here, well not everything, but most things here we're using a straight stitch and we're gonna top stitch it because I like top stitching. clearly didn't measure correctly so I had to cut off some of the bottom part of this part and now I'm gonna unbutton everything not everything just the ends and I have to hem the bottom before we put it on we don't have to but I kind of wanted to while I was sitting there at the sewing machine so we're just gonna double roll hem the bottom part and sew that all the way down and so that's how beautiful this scene looked. Wow. Wow, Johnson. Good for you. And now we have to attach the bottom to this top. So we're going to first pin the edges, each of the button sides to their right locations. And then this middle part, we know that's the middle because that's where we attach them. And so as you can see there, I did have to add another piece for that Um corset part but it's okay and so just like the top we're going to fold in the bottom piece to this middle piece because it wasn't enough because there's too much of the bottom part so we're gonna make some um, pleats yeah that's what we're doing we're making pleats and so um just keep doing that all the way to the end until there's no more um, of that bottom fabric left and it's all pinned down. That's how it should look. And it's gonna look really cute once we have sewn it down. So let's go do that. 
just with a straight stitch and I'm using the presser foot as a guide for my seam allowance and just sewing that all the way down taking your time and doing the right thing we are going to top stitch this as well so do that this top stitch is gonna go to the bottom because nope I lied it's going to the top because I didn't want it in the way of my ruffles I think that's what it was but usually I think it goes down and look at that scene that looks so pretty I don't know it looks pretty to me and I think I forgot to top stitch this top part where the bra and corset was so that's what I'm doing here is top stitching everything else down because we don't want anything lifting up And yeah, we are almost finished, guys. So really, all we have to do is iron everything down. This part is optional, of course, but it always looks better, especially with um, material like this. So I wanted to iron down my back um, folds as well as the bottom folds. So that's what I'm doing here. Ironing everything down, making sure everything looks good and sophisticated looking. We also want to cut off any excess threads because those just look bad. And for the sleeves, I also folded the cuff just so it would fit me better. But here is the finished look. This one is actually really cute. I love this. I like really love this because of the corset. Like I made that and it actually looks really cute. So I hope y'all like it too. And this was really cute. The bra held up really nicely. Well, it's not a bra, but you know what I mean. And let me know if you try it. But thanks for watching, y'all. I hope y'all loved it. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. And share this with a friend. All right, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.